Standing in at just 5'11", and with a play style about as unorthodox as it gets, Tim Thomas is pretty much the exact opposite of your modern NHL goaltender. And although he didn't play in an NHL game until he was 28, and wouldn't get a starting job till 31, he certainly made his mark on the game of hockey in his relatively short 9-year career. The Michigan native was drafted in 1994 by the Quebec Nordiques in the 9th round, 217th overall. Of course, the NHL hasn't had more than 7 rounds since 2004. And despite Tim Thomas being overlooked all throughout his early career, bouncing around between several different leagues and having a playstyle that didn't always make goaltending look pretty, he would eventually become one of the NHL's best goaltenders, win multiple Vezina trophies, and would win the Conn Smythe and Stanley Cup for Boston in 2011 in what was arguably the greatest individual season in National Hockey League history for a goaltender. After playing high school hockey in Michigan, Thomas would go on to play college hockey at the University of Vermont, which also happened to be the only school that would give him a chance to play immediately. He would also be joined by future NHL Hall of Famer Martin St. Louis, who is also an underlooked player himself and actually went undrafted in the NHL. During his time with the Catamounts, Thomas would become the program's best goalie ever, becoming a two-time All-American, graduating as Vermont's career leader in shutout, save percentage, and goals against average, helping his team to back-to-back -back trips to the NCAA tournament, including a trip to the Frozen Four 1996, and he would also lead the nation in save percentage back-to-back -back years from 1994 to 1996. After an amazing college career, Timmy would play a few games in North America in both the IHL and ECHL. He played well in his six games with the Birmingham Bulls of the East Coast League, but he and his agent decided it would be better for Thomas to play overseas. He would play for HIFK in the Finnish SM Liga and posted incredible numbers with a 947 save percentage, 1.62 goals against average, winning the trophy for the league's best goaltender and also helping his team win the league's championship. The next year, he'd spend part of the season in Finland and some of it in the AHL with the Hamilton Bulldogs. But unfortunately, he was outplayed by other goalies in the American League that year. In the 1999-2000 season, Timmy played for the Detroit Vipers of the IHL. And although he played 36 games for the team, he had the worst numbers of the five goalies on the team, proving he wasn't quite ready for the NHL just yet. He would spend the next two seasons honing his skills again overseas, playing in Sweden for AIK in 2000-2001, and then Karpat in Finland in 0102, where he'd again put up dazzling numbers between the pipes. The next season, Tim Thomas would finally play in his first National Hockey League game as a 28-year-old. He played just four games with Boston that season, spending most of the year splitting time in the AHL with Andrew Raycroft. The much younger Raycroft would be the guy that at the time looked like the better prospect, even winning the Calder Trophy with the Bruins during the 0304 season. But it would be Thomas who would end up taking the reins for Boston a little bit down the line. While Raycroft was enjoying his time as the number one in Boston, Thomas was lighting it up in Providence, posting a 9-4-1 save percentage in 43 games, the third best mark in the AHL that year. In the 2004-05 season, the NHL had a full lockout, forcing many players to play overseas. And this was something Tim Thomas was very comfortable with and was basically his second home. And in a year where quite a few other NHL caliber netminders were playing in the SM Liga, like Thomas Vokun, Dwayne Rolison, a young Pekka Rene, Nicholas Backstrom, and even Andrew Raycroft, Timmy Thomas had an insane year, putting up a 946 save percentage in 54 games, the best in the league, and helping him win the award for best player of the regular season. The next year, Thomas would finally play the majority of the season in the NHL, posting a strong 917 save percentage. And in his 26 games with the Providence Bruins, he had a 9.23 save percentage, the best in the AHL that year. After a rough season with Boston and after dealing with injury issues, the Bruins would deal Andrew Raycroft to the Toronto Maple Leafs for 19-year-old goalie prospect Tuka Rask. Ever heard of him? This meant Thomas would finally be getting his chance as the starter in net for the Boston Bruins. And although it was a rough season for both him and the Bees, it would be the next year when Thomas would establish himself as a world-class goaltender and start a five-year stretch where he would play some of the best hockey in net the game had ever seen. After missing the playoffs the year prior, in 2007-08, the Bruins finished third in their division and Thomas put up a 921 save percentage and 2.44 goals against in his 57 games played. In the playoffs, Boston matched up against an original six rival, the Montreal Canadiens, and Tim Thomas and the Bruins lost in seven, getting outplayed by a 20-year-old Carey Price. In 2008-09, Boston had a ridiculously good regular season, 
with 53 wins and finishing first in the conference. The team was extremely well balanced with stars on offense, defense, and of course, in net. Thomas put together an incredible 36-11-7 season, posting a league-leading 933 save percentage and 2.10 goals against average. He'd won his first Vezina Trophy and also the Jennings Trophy. At 34 years old, Thomas had reached the pinnacle of being a pro goalie, and he was on a team that looked ready to make a serious run at Lord Stanley. Thomas was nearly perfect in round one where the Bruins would sweep the Canadiens and get their revenge, but in round two they'd run into a strong Carolina Hurricanes team. The Canes would go 3-1 in the series, and despite Boston bouncing back to force a game seven, Carolina would win that game seven in overtime, and the Bruins' dreams were shattered. In the 2009-10 season, although the Bruins had a team that struggled to score goals, their goaltending and defense was good enough for them to squeak into the playoffs. This year, in the regular season, veteran Tim Thomas pretty much shared the net 50-50 with 22-year-old Tuka Rask. And although Timmy posted solid numbers with a 915 save percentage, Tuka outshined him with a dazzling 931 save percentage and 1.97 goals against, both which led the league. And because of this, Rask earned the starting net in the playoffs. Boston would face off against Buffalo in round one, taking down Ryan Miller and the Sabres in six, but in round two, they'd lose in game seven against the Philadelphia Flyers, who would end up going all the way to the cup final that year. After effectively losing his starting job to the much younger Tuka Rask, Tim Thomas went out the next season and had one of the single greatest individual goaltending seasons in NHL history. And based on what he was able to do both in the regular season and playoffs, I would argue it's the best goaltending season we've ever seen. Boston would finish first in the division in the 2010-11 season, and Thomas won his second Vezina Trophy in three years, posting a 35-11-9 record and an insane 9-3-8 save percentage and two goals against average. His 938 save percentage is the 5th best in NHL history, and coincidentally is the same mark as Linus Allmarks from the 2022-23 season, where he would also win the Vezina Trophy as a Boston Bruin. In the playoffs, the Bruins would win a tough first round matchup with Montreal, one that went to Game 7 overtime. In the second round, Boston would sweep the Philadelphia Flyers, Timmy Thomas stopping over 95% of the shots he faced. In the conference finals, they'd face the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the series went back and forth, eventually all the way to a seventh game. Thomas proved he was human in this series, posting a 916 save percentage, but in Game 7, he put together a 24 save shutout to send the Bruins to the Stanley Cup Final to match up against the Vancouver Canucks, who had dominated the NHL during the regular season. The series also went back and forth, but eventually the Bruins won Game 7 in Vancouver in what was another shutout for Tim Thomas. He was nearly unbeatable in the series that somehow went seven games despite Thomas letting up just eight goals on 246 shots. The 36-year-old stud had two shutouts in the series and a 9.67 save percentage out dueling Canadian All-Star Roberto Luongo. This was Boston's sixth cup, but the first since 1972, and the biggest reason they won it was undoubtedly Tim Thomas in net, who had numbers that jump off the page and awarded him the Consmite Trophy for playoff MVP. The next season, the Boston Bruins had another really strong team that looked like they could potentially go back to back. Thomas had a 35-19-1 record, including a 9-20 save percentage. But in round one, they'd face off against the Washington Capitals team with the young Braden Holpe in net. And the 22-year-old stole the series that won seven games, four of them to overtime, all being decided by just one goal. With the 2012-13 season being a lockout shortened year, and now 38 years old, Tim Thomas decided not to play this season primarily for family reasons. This would mean that Thomas had played his last game as a Boston Bruin as the organization traded him during the 2013 season for salary cap reasons. Timmy would return to the NHL during the 2013-14 season, playing 40 games with the Panthers and 8 games with Dallas, but he was a shell of his former self. And at 39 years old, after playing quite a bit of hockey over the past few decades, he decided it would be time to hang up the skates for good. It later came out that he battled concussions and head injuries in 2013, which could have also been a big reason for his retirement. During the prime of his career, Tim Thomas was one of the most electric goalies in the NHL's history. His unique play style didn't always look perfect, but most of the time it got the job done. And Thomas even said it himself that, quote, I'd rather look ugly making a save than look pretty being scored on. And man did Timmy make a lot of saves all throughout his career. 
His career playoff save percentage of 933 is still an NHL goaltending record for those who've played a minimum of 15 games. And the fact that he won two Vezinas and a Conn Smythe in his mid-30s is truly incredible. His stretch from the 2007-08 season to the 2011-12 season was absolutely phenomenal, and it's unfortunate he never got a shot earlier in the NHL. Thomas battled for every shot and battled his way to the NHL, despite being looked at as a complete afterthought. He is an inspiring story of perseverance and was one of the most electric goaltenders of his era.